Good evening. The struggle against COVID is the single biggest crisis the world has faced in my lifetime. The sport of boxing, even in normal circumstances, has always remained a puzzling trade to follow. And in 2020, the devastating effects of the COVID outbreak put forth an unprecedented challenge to the sport's fighters, promoters and networks. We got to a stage now where it's unavoidable but to cancel uh, virtually all sport now and to make sure that we concentrate on the right things, which is obviously the health of the general public. Fight delays, cancellations and loss of revenue plagued an industry already fraught with endless complications. However, its adherents complied, adapted and persevered through the pandemic to continue delivering the championship fights. Take over! As such, boxing heads into 2021 in a healthy state to produce some of the most in-demand matchups of the sport. And in this episode, we examine five of the biggest, most exciting bouts to make and the likelihood of them materializing in the near future. Josh Taylor versus Jose Ramirez. In 2017, the undisputed light welterweight champion Terence Crawford forfeited his belts to move up a weight division, and a chance was granted to a new batch of up-and-comers to claim the deserted world titles. Within just two years, two very clear frontrunners had emerged, Scotland's Josh Taylor and America's Jose Ramirez. After turning professional in 2015, it didn't take long for Josh Taylor to power through undefeated prospects and former world champions. The here, Josh Taylor. And his crowning moment soon arrived when he entered the coveted World Boxing Super Series. Wins over Ivan Baranchik and Regis Progre not only secured the Muhammad Ali Trophy, but also the IBF, WBA and Ring Magazine belts. In correspondence, Jose Ramirez's route to his world titles was equally as impressive. After a decorated stint as an amateur, Ramirez turned professional in 2012 and embarked on a steady rise towards his first world title against Emir Imam. Two defences later, the highlight moment of his career would come against fellow undefeated champion Maurice Hooker. An explosive TKO victory made him the unified WBO and WBC champion and put him on course towards the ultimate unification against Josh Taylor. The Scotsman's well-rounded boxing ability combined with an aggressive, body-punching approach will be met equally by the Mexican-American's inherent tenacity. Both durable and both in their primes, boxing fans can expect nothing less than a high-paced war of attrition. Probability score very high. Both Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor are signed to Bob Arum's top rank promotions, with the legendary promoter already making clear his plans to stage the bout in 2021. Very few obstacles exist in the path of this matchup, and so the probability of it taking place this year remains very high. Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe Saunders. Fight by fight. The notion that Saul Canelo Alvarez is unbeatable is becoming an undeniable fact. One by one, every possible threat in and around his weight class is being dispatched with absurd levels of skill, speed and power. And with his only equal facing a battle against time, any hope of halting Canelo's expansion of dominance is quickly becoming scarce. A quick title grab at light heavyweight has been followed by a firm footing in the super middleweight division. 
The recent flawless victory over Callum Smith has made Canelo the proud owner of the WBA and WBC belts. He now looks to expand his collection by eliminating the other title holders. One such champion is WBO's Billy Joe Saunders. WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World. An experienced, fleet-footed boxer that may provide a welcome change to the recent styles that have engaged Canelo. Though he can often be guilty of fighting down to the level of his opposition, Saunders, when feeling inspired, can transform himself into an incredibly crafty opponent. Defensively sharp and a free-flowing counterpuncher, the Englishman will find in Canelo a genuine threat that will force him to fight at his absolute best. And equally, in the opposite corner, Canelo himself will need to be as resourceful as ever to trap an elusive prey. Probability score high. With a mutual TV network and a positive relationship with the same promoter, the likelihood of this unification taking place in 2021 is high. Canelo's desire to capture the remaining belts and Saunders' eagerness to land a lucrative fight make this an easy bout to set up. Artur Batuviev versus Dmitry Bivol. The light heavyweight weight class in recent times has fallen into the firm grasp of Eastern Europe. More specifically, Russia, who have produced the two standout undefeated world champions that sit atop the division. Artur Batuviev, the unified IBF and WBC title holder with a ferocious 100% knockout record. And Dmitry Bivol, a technically proficient boxer that currently owns the WBA world title. Combined, they've amassed 37 straight wins over undefeated prospects, experienced veterans, and even fellow world champions. It's over! Archer better be it! Is the unified light heavyweight champion of the world! Batyrviev became the consensus number one after his destructive performance against Oleksandr Vozdik, earning himself the reputation as the most dangerous fighter in the world and one that can only be tamed by the boxing mind of Dmitry Bivol. That's a lovely jab again. And likewise, Bivol's technical astuteness has seen him effortlessly cruise past a broad range of world-class opponents. His ultimate test can only be found in Batyrviev's raw strength and power. It's a fascinating clash of styles that pits two undefeated forces against one another. And ultimately, the type of matchup that the sport needs when providing clarity on who is the true number one of the division. Probability score low. Currently, both fighters have been forced out of the ring for over a year, and there may well be a requirement for tune-up bouts before committing to each other. And with an additional barrier of opposing TV networks, the chances of a 2021 showdown unfortunately remain low. Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Since the dethroning of Vladimir Klitschko in 2015, the most talked about heavyweight matchup for a long time had been Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder. King takes kings. I want Joshua. But Tyson Fury's eccentric return to the sport and his seven-round destruction of Wilder in 2020 provided an alternative script. Guess who's back? Now, the heavyweight fight to make is none other than Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua for the undisputed championship of the world. You ask the crowd what they want to see. I'm up for anything. Who wants to see Anthony Joshua box Tyson Fury in 2021? Joshua, after turning professional in 2013, blazed to the top of the sport in record-breaking fashion. Thrilling knockouts, packed stadiums, and fight of the year candidates. 
Even his first and only defeat occurred in dramatic fashion, which served to enhance his already immense commercial profile. The first time was so nice, I had to do it twice. And similarly, Tyson Fury endeared himself to the world by battling physical and mental health to eventually return as the WBC and lineal champion of the world. Once more, against all odds, it had been Tyson Fury to step up to the plate and topple an existing dominant champion. And the new WBC heavyweight champion of the world! Their top flight abilities in the boxing ring are complemented by warming personalities that have captivated the mainstream UK audience. And with every heavyweight title between them, the two have nothing else to conquer as they turn their attention towards each other to create what will be the greatest British boxing event of all time. Whoever's got the bell, I'd love to compete with them. If that is Tyson Fury, let it be Tyson Fury. It's no big deal. Probability score, very high. Both the fighters and their promotional teams have expressed a strong willingness to get the fight made, with Joshua dispatching his recent mandatory and Fury having no obligations elsewhere. The two parties are in a position to deliver the fight this year. Negotiations appear to have already progressed quickly, with rumours of a two-fight deal that could take place in the UK and abroad. Terence Crawford vs Errol Spence Jr. Welterweight has long been the flagship division of modern-day boxing. Consistently, it has served a mix of budding young stars and seasoned veterans to produce high-quality matchups year on end. And as it stands today, the pinnacle of its crop is the duo of Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford. Two once-in-a-generation talents that stand head and shoulders above all else. Spence, the more natural welterweight, had his breakout performance in 2017 when he defeated Kell Brook for the IBF world title. And in the subsequent fights, has matched the expectations placed on him to claim the 147 pound mantle left behind by Floyd Mayweather. But just as Spence was building his foundations at the division, he would inevitably see the arrival of Terence Crawford, a sublime pound for pound talent that had already wiped out two of the lower weight classes. Having grabbed a trinket of his own in the form of the WBO title, he immediately chorused the fans' demands by chasing a showdown with Errol Spence. So when I stop him, y'all gonna say he was too weak. Oh my and, life. And he stayed oh at 147. Would not, would not too long. He would not stop me. Okay. Without question, this is the must-see fight in boxing. Errol Spence reinforces his natural strength with sound boxing fundamentals that, in recent bouts, have garnered more and more respect. And Terence Crawford, with a chameleon-like ability to imitate any style, continues to stamp his reputation as the most complete fighter in the world. However, whatever the elite components on display in this matchup, they're met equally by the resistance placed by an increasingly fragmented sport. And as such, both Crawford and Spence seem reluctantly content in dispatching second-tier opposition in the hope that one day the problems in the boardrooms will resolve themselves. What do you think is the actual holdup? I think it has something to do with top rank and PBC. Oh, okay, so it's a promoter issue. There's always going to be questions until you and Crawford fight. I think it could happen. I mean, just for, you know, Al and the bar to sit down and, you know, for Bob to start lying. Probability score, very low. The likelihood of this fight taking place this year sadly remains bleak. The political divide between the two fighters mirrors the turmoil produced by a similar mega event, Mayweather versus Pacquiao. That fight, delivered five years past its peak, served a forgetful spectacle. And there are concerns that Crawford versus Spence will follow a similarly desolate path. This may be the most electrifying fight to make in boxing, but it's one that fans will need to abandon any hope of taking place in 2021. <laughs>